This all started partially because my shield is kind of awful. I mean, look, his head isn't covered and his toes aren't covered. But mostly it's because um, I can't shield drop consistently. I mean, I can get it like half the time, but if a Falco is pressuring you with like theirs and stuff, it's kind of not good to miss things that are going to cost you a stock. So what I was going to do is, you know, what everyone else does nowadays, you go on Facebook, you, I was going to post a NorCal group, you know, I'm a Marth, who can't really, who can't really get shield drops, um, and, I'm, and I get stuck on platforms really often. Is there anything I can do, to, you know, besides shield dropping? You know, as I was typing, I realized, I know what I can do out of shield. I can wave dash, you know, like everyone else. But, you know, it doesn't really help me because I'm still stuck on the platform after a wave dash. Oh, what else can I do? I can, um, you know, let go of shield, try PC drop through, get an aerial out or something. But, letting go of shield is a lot of frames. Like, if you see that, it takes, it takes a while. Um, besides that, what, what can else I can do? I can jump out of shield. I can, you know, jump out, fall through. It's pretty good, but I'm going to be vulnerable through all of this, you know, falling through time. So if I can jump out, what else can I do? I can aerial. Okay, that's that's pretty good, because you know aerial comes out. My fair comes out really fast. I can you know, fade back. Hopefully, like space properly. Hopefully, catch them if they're trying to push or something. So, you know, it's all good. Problem solved. So this is important because if people on Facebook, you know, didn't give me a good answer, like you know, get good, learn the shield drop, then I would be out of luck, and I really can't do anything after that. I'd be stuck always getting caught in my shield on platforms or something. So the key is to identify problems and. You know, consider options, what you can do, what you can't do, and then eliminate the bad ones and then just go for the good ones, practice those, and see if they work out. And if they don't work out, well, then you can start asking others for help, and then you have better questions to ask people who, who might be able to help you then. So another time when this came up was, I was playing my friend in Mart Dittos, and every time I tried to go for my down tilts, you know, like every Mart does, I kept getting forward smash in the face because I suck. Well, what are my options then? I could run in the shield, hopefully, you know, try and get something off of that, but if I keep shielding, He's gonna quickly realize that I'm stuck in shield. He's gonna grab me or something, forward throw, forward throw, forward smash, I'm dead. So what are my other options? Well, I could, you know, run in, wave dash back, hopefully bait a forward smash, and then I could grab him or something, punish. Or, if he, you know, thinks I'm gonna shield, if I wave dash back, he's gonna whiff a grab, and then I can punish that with also my, with my grab instead. You know, forward throw, same thing, I'm all good. But then why am I not the best mark if I figure out the problem? Well, this is because it took me 50 games before I realized, you know, something's wrong, how am I supposed to beat this? And if I go to a tournament, I don't have 50 games to learn someone's playstyle. This is what separates the good players from the bad players in that good players know how to adapt mid-set, and they're able, they're able to apply what they learned right in that set, instead of having to wait, like, 50 games like I did to try and learn something new. Um, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed. Remember to train smart, and good luck.